Texas senators once again moving forward on allocating state money for private schooling. It's not the first time, and it may not be the last time, depending on where things go from here. Republicans argue the difference this time around is while they're working to fund private schools, they are also working to pour billions of dollars into public schools. We will continue to support public education with in increased funding as we have every biennium but the subprime crash. That but is this go around really all that different? It's not as if one time pay increases for teachers and, you know, small increases in this per student allotment have not have been on the table before. And I think we're, you know, not enough to move the needle on vouchers, frankly. That's what critics of the initiative, Republican and Democrat alike, are holding out for. We do a little reality check. Where's this bill going once it leaves this floor? It should go to the House. And in the House, it's still a toss up on whether school choice has support to pass. Some rural Republicans have been adamant they will not support taxpayer money for private education, standing, as it is, with Democrats. We are saying no to voucher scams and saying yes to protecting our Texas children. In a press conference Thursday morning, a coalition of Central Texas Democrats spoke alongside Central Texas school superintendents, reiterating their opposition to school vouchers or anything like them. Leander ISD is strongly opposed to any type of voucher no matter what it's called, and no amount of money the legislature can offer us will change our minds. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.